Here we have some skeletal facts that are well worth knowing. Let's have a look at the skeleton, but particularly we will have a look at the spine. Here you have the spine isolated. Have a good look. See what strikes you as you look at it here or highlight it. You can probably see that it isn't straight. In fact, the spine has four curves. We have at the very top of the spine the cervical curve, followed by the thoracic curve, followed by the lumbar, and at the very bottom end of the spine is the sacrum. The skull sits at the very top of the spine. The skull and the spine meet at this joint called the atlanto-occipital joint. And it's called the atlanto-occipital joint because you've got the top vertebra, which is called the atlas. There you have it highlighted. And right at the very top of it sits the occipital bone. This is the backbone of your skull. The rib cage is connected to the spine. If you have a look here, you can see that every pair of ribs is connecting to a vertebra of the spine. The pelvis also connects to the spine directly through the sacrum at the bottom end of the spine. Here you have the sacrum highlighted and you can see here how it sits between the pelvic bones but also how it is connected to the spine as it continues up. The pelvis is made of two pelvic or hip bones which sit either side of the sacrum. You can see here one pelvic bone highlighted. You can see how it connects to the sacrum. You can see the two pelvic bones there and that very intrinsic connection to the sacrum and how the sacrum once again continues up into the spine. The sitting bones are part of the pelvis. Here you can see the sit bone highlighted and you can see that it's not a bone that is hanging about by itself but actually is at the very base of the pelvic bone. So we have two sit bones, two pelvic bones. And here is a crucially important anatomical fact. The lungs occupy a very large proportion of the rib cage. You can see here how the lungs are coming into the front of the rib cage and also to the side. And you can see at the bottom how they come down to the very bottom ribs. The lungs are not just at the front though or the side, largely they are at the back. And you can see here highlighted the right lung and how it comes right up to your shoulder as it goes down to the very bottom end of the rib cage. A very, very important anatomical fact that has to do with the skeleton and particularly with the spine that we've been looking at today. And so we can conclude that the spine connects the head, to the rib cage, and to the pelvis, and that the lungs sit inside the rib cage. Therefore, what we do with the spine has an effect on what we do with our breathing. Thank you for watching, and please come back for more.